Hi babies and welcome to the Revolution channel. My name is Garmy Mie and in today's video I wanna give you some ensembling because we are gonna talk about the do and the don'ts when it comes to eyeshadows. Now I am gonna show you on one side, like my right side, all the do's and on this other one, like the don'ts. Now these are all techniques that they do work for me. Now I will say before I even start, if there are any techniques that you prefer from the don't side keep using it this is what actually works for me and it's kind of a way to hopefully help you out maybe to discover something new I'm gonna try to kind of explain as well like why I'm doing what I'm doing so I hope you guys are excited because I am indeed so we're gonna start and I'm gonna use this palette over here now this one is our latest uh, uh, reloaded palette is retail for four pound is out now the shade is the velvet rose and let me tell you between all the new four palettes this is uh, probably like my favorite i absolutely love how uh, daytime and how wearable this one is you guys know me i do love my colorful look but lately i've been really really enjoying like brown and golds i know carmy is it's me it's still me don't worry but I don't know today I was thinking to like show you like a very simple everyday look using this palette so I hope you guys are gonna appreciate it so let's start with uh, the do side so when I start um, and I have my brushes over here I will be using pretty much the same brush on both sides so that you can really like see what I'm doing so we are gonna start with um, mm -hmm, let me see let me see let me see this one over here I like this on the fluffy so first things I'll do I pick a brush that is slightly fluffier now when you pick a fluffy brush you will tend to have a more of a diffuse application and that sometimes means that you have to dig in into the palette a couple of times when if you go in with a brush for example like this one of you there is smaller but it's always like more dense this one will tend to add a lot of more products in one go but um, it will be a little bit harder to actually blend it so um, um, as a start, we are going to use um, a fluffy one. Now, this palette contains a beautiful matte and shimmer, so that's what I really, really like because you can really create um, a variety of look. You can go just full matte or you can just pop your shimmer. So, I'm going to start with the shade over here. Now, this one is my first tip, is starting with a transition shade. There is maybe like one to two shades darker than your actual like um, eyelids or maybe like your base primer. Um, what I'll do is I pick up the product and I dust off the excess. So make sure when you pick you do want to dust away. The only reason why is especially if you're using, um, like if you already have a foundation on, like me, um, it's gonna end up that you're gonna have fallouts. Now with shades like this, they're so light. Um, the fallout is not that much of a problem because it's very, very easy to actually remove it. I know some people, they like to bake. I personally don't, only because I have uh, dry skin. So what I'll do is I start to press this one first on the three quarters of my eyes and as you guys see I do not mind to just do a couple of presses and then go back into the palette there is literally no problem whatsoever and then when I come to the crease I just do like in and out very very softly now the brush I keep it very close to the end of it and the reason why I'm doing that is because I will apply way less pressure if you tend to keep the brush very very close um, you have way more pressure so you do have more control but um especially when you wanted to like blend and make everything very nice and diffuse you want to let the brush kind of be a little bit free and just like move very nicely when it comes to don'ts, uh, one thing that I will say is, of course, use your transition shade. If you don't and you tend to go already with a darker color, you will tend to have a little bit more problems. So I'm actually gonna do on this side, uh, the shade over here. So I'm gonna go with the darker one. Now what I'll do is I'm actually gonna go in with a brush. I'm not gonna dust excess. And I'm gonna show you by just like applying it down 
is gonna first add maybe just a slightly um, um, like fallout. Now this brush is like this product over here doesn't really have much fallout so we kind of save and um, you can kind of like blend it because they're easy blendable but is a lot harder you can already see is a little bit more patchy. I'm going to go in and just like blend it and trying to do the same thing I've done on this side, but you can already tell like how smooth this is and how um, messy this one is. So let me just try to like save it maybe a little bit and uh, let's move forward. As you guys can see, we have done a little bit of a boo-boo over here, when on this other side is a little bit softer. What I'm gonna do is literally use the same brush, pick up the same color, one, two, dust it off, and then very lightly, I'm gonna press it on the three quarter of my eyes and then soften it up. So I'm pretty much doing the same motion that I've done before, maybe slightly softer, picking up way less product and blending it even more. And I'll show you way, way, way how different it is. So now we're going to talk about shimmer shades and how to get the best out of them. I have one more time the palette, I have a clean brush. Now this one looks very very similar to the previous one. The only difference is it's a little bit more dense, less fluffier. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade over here. So I'm taking the gold and you guys see how nice and pigmented it is. What, um, like how to make this shadow like stand out without even wetting it is deciding where you want to put it. So I want to do it over here and what I'll do is very lightly I just press it when you press it you are just making sure the shadow is really locked in one place now this technique works really really well as um, like with glitters uh, especially if you have a glitter glue underneath as well um, also if you're gonna do um, like cut crease and everything you want to press your shadow on top of your concealer but this is pretty much like the best way to get like your gold like your shimmer popping now on the other side same brush what I'll do is I'll take a little bit but this time instead of on the flat side I'm taking it on the point on the tip of the brush what I'll do is I am just gonna go around it like this so kind of like the same motion that I did for uh, the for the like the blending one and I'm just like very very quickly just put it everywhere. Can you see the difference? I'm gonna do it one more time. So I'm taking the product. So you guys see, I am taking the product and I am just gonna like go in, run circular motion, like so. Now, the gold is, is that. Is that as amazing as this other side? No, the only reason is because we have pressed it. And that's why I always decided to start my eye look with a crease color and then with my um, out of edge color so that I can really see where I can put my shimmer shade and just make sure it just gets the best out of it. Now I'm gonna give you like my last tip of today. There is working on your low lash line. Now, a lot of people don't put um, eyeshadow on the low lash line and that's okay, there's nothing bad about it. Like, Definitely it does um, create more of an interesting look, you know, it just I feel like it, it's more completed I personally I can't do an eyeshadow look without like my uh, lower lash. I need to have it So I would probably say um, Let's go in with um, the same shadow over here. So this one that we done earlier and this small detail brush now I show you we do one two you see how much pigment dust off one more time now there are two ways to do it my easiest way is to go directly underneath my lashes keep the brush upwards and just very very softly blending it now the reason why i'm doing this and i'm using such a small brush is because i can be first very very precise and also um, keeping the brush upwards is gonna make sure that not only I am blending the product, but also I'm not dragging it down. So it's always like kind of like tuck in just on the side over here and I can always blend it. Now, of course, if you do have the time, if you have the patience, I would probably say go with a nice like a clean brush and kind of just like knit it up all the edges very, very quickly. Now remember this one is our very soft daytime look. So we kind of want to make sure everything looks a little bit more blown out. 
but you kind of just want to like very softly soften it up everything now on the other side and what i see a lot of people doing and then struggling and then hating it is uh, taking back the same brush that we use for the crease the same color and go straight ahead when you go straight one you're applying more product also look at the brush how big it is but when you press in it the brush opens up when the brush opens up the product directly just keeps on going down and this is a little bit of a mess. Um, what I see after this is uh, a lot of like Q-tip action to just like try to soften it up, a lot of like fingers, and uh, ultimately a lot of makeup remover. So this is like as simple as it gets, like you can definitely see the difference between these two brushes now again this one is dense you will keep it up and you would just blend it when this one because you're putting it straight it just opens and when it opens it just spreads it even more again we did not um like tap in excess we just use more of it of course on this side over here i am doing like something that is extremely dramatic um but that is just to show you how some time techniques um, can really improve your makeup not only the brushes because if you see we use the same brushes pretty much on both sides is the technique so what I'm gonna do right now is um, I am going to um, remove my makeup because uh, it looks crazy but <laughs> I really hope you guys have enjoyed it it was definitely hopefully quick and hopefully I helped you out please let me know down below if you did enjoy this video if you want more do and don'ts so maybe next time you can do like uh, foundation maybe lips please let me know and I'll work on it. Of course, if you can, um, you know, subscribe to this channel because we always put out new content and there is something super exciting coming soon, but I can't say anything. So, yes, <laughs> my babies, I love you so much. And uh, always remember, like if you like, hate if you hate, and until next time, you're welcome.